Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our 7 p.m. midweek service. Dito po sa mga natin on-site. And to those who are joining us online, ano pa po bang hinihintay nyo? Tag the person to invite and join them. And let them join here in our midweek service. You can also type your name sa comment section and just click the share button para din makasama yung mga iba na kakilala ninyo, yung mga office mates nyo or kung sino pa makakita sa wall ninyo. And tonight, uh, I'm just glad to see people that are attending on-site. It's good to see a good number of people. And hopefully, tuloy-tuloy na tayo at bumalik na tayo sa dating number natin where people will gather in just in a community that praise and worship the Lord. Amen? And as we start our worship tonight, I'd like to invite everyone to please stand. And let us all stand in prayer. Lord, thank you for this beautiful evening that you've given to us. Thank you, Lord God, for your protection. At nakarating po kami dito safe and sound sa center. Thank you for these people, Lord God, na kasama namin ngayon on site. And we are also praying for those, Lord God, the coming weeks, coming months, Lord God, that dadami at dadami pa kami dito, Lord God. We are claiming that by faith in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as we worship you tonight, I pray, Lord God, prepare our hearts and our mind that your word speak to us, Father, minister it to us. And I pray, Lord God, that our life, Father, will declare your goodness and your faithfulness. And our life will be a pleasing sacrifice to you, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po, Pakinon. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Come on, church. Let's worship God.
to see you glorified in our families, in our workplace, in our situation. Lord, we want to see your glory fall. This is our prayer, God, that we will glorify you. As we trust in your promises, Lord. Thank you that you are ever constant. Spirit goes 
Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, you are holy, you are mighty, and worthy of all our praises, Lord Jesus. That's why we thank you, God. We worship you because of who you are, not because of who we are, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for that. Lord, your name is above all names. No other names, Lord Jesus, that we want to exalt. Just your name that we want to adore, we want to um, give praise. And Lord, we cannot worship you based on our own strength, based on our own power. We cannot. That's why, Lord Jesus, we ask you to be our might, to be our strength for today and receive our worship in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, give God praise. Thank you, Lord. So good to worship God with all of you. And for those who are joining us online, before you take your seat, please do greet the person right next to you. Yung mga katabi ninyo, even yung mga nasa medyo malayo kasi um, nakikita naman ninyo ang bawat isa for sure. And for those who are joining us, worshiping with us online, good evening. My name is Billy, one of your campus missionaries here in Victory, Quezon Avenue. Welcome to our Wednesday um, evening service, 7 p.m. service. We're so glad to um, be with all of you for tonight. And worshiping God, um, it's really, if, iba yung feels, no? Kapag ganun, go-worship ka, kasama yung mga, um, mga worshiper din, di ba? Nakasama natin yung mga, uh, sina Ate Florence, sina um, Lorraine, Brian. It feels so good to worship with all of you. And also with those who are joining us online. And yes, we are on site as well. So please do um, come and join us and worship with us here in our center. And also for those who have a heart to um, lead us or usher us into worship, just like what um, Ken did a while ago, please do contact us, let us know, and um, audition for our music ministry. Pwede kontakin po ninyo si Ken. You can send directly message to Ken or even to our page. And kung hindi lang pang banyo yung mga bosses ninyo, um, let us uh, um, uh, join us, okay? And worship with us, lead us in worship. So um, once again, contact Ken or send a message through our Facebook page. And as a church, um, our heart is really for the next generation. That's why we have this real life foundation as well, wherein we provide or that aims to provide um, hope and education to the underprivileged students. That's why we have this first alumna from Marawi. Okay, and we will be watching the video of um, that girl um, who's now um, making an impact to his family and even to, his, uh, to her community. Let's watch this video. At Real Life, Real Life we, build we build different, different partnerships, partnerships that, help that help us provide access, access to education, education to underprivileged students, students throughout, throughout the Philippines. The Philippines. One, of One of our partners is the Bridge, is the Bridge Student, Student Center, an interreligious inter nonprofit non organization, organization that aims, that aims to, serve to serve communities and promote, and promote peace, peace by bridging, by bridging the, gap the gap among different, different cultures, cultures, ethnic, ethnic groups, groups, tribes, tribes and, religions. and religions. Our first, first alumna, alumna in Marawi is, is Raisa, Raisa Haji, Haji Omar, Omar from the Bridge, from the Bridge Student, Student Center in their, in their area. area. Hindi po ako ngayon sa biology parents kung sa grandparents ako kay kay may sa sa may may pagkawo kasi hindi siya magkawo work ng ng matagal matagal nakilala ko yung yung rich center so pray na close close ko nila tapos 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 Makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
bedroom sa barangay namin. Ang daming bata na hindi nakakapag-aral. Para sa akin talaga, na-encourage talaga ako na gusto ko talaga magturo ng mga bata na hindi kaya mag-aral. Gusto ko pumunta sa mga lugar na walang mga paaralan kasi gusto ko mag-share ng knowledge. Gusto ko matuto yung mga bata bilang papalit sa generation. Kailangan natin talaga mas magsipag mag-aral para ma-guide natin yung mga susunod na mga generation. Sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng Real Life Foundation, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat-lahat na binigay nyo, tulong nyo, ma-financial man, or mga prayers nyo. Grabe yung appreciate po namin ng mga scholar. Super laki ng may ampag nyo sa buhay namin. So, thank you, RL. We count it a privilege that we get to bring hope and education to the underprivileged youth in Marawi. Thank you for your support and generosity that help us impart values to our scholars. This enable them to participate in building their community and the nation. Every student deserves access to education and a, a chance to fight to have a better education. And your support helps our scholars to have that hope and dreams for their future. And we thank you for your hope, for the hope that you gave to our scholars. And, and together, let's change the life and change the nation. And for our tithes and offering, let me read from Luke chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. It says here, Soon afterward, he went to the, through the cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And also some woman who had been healed from evil spirit and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna and many others who provided them out of their means. So this was the time when Jesus and his 12 disciples went to the village and cities of Galilee to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. And Mary, Joanna, Susanna, and other, uh, many others contribute the resources to support the, uh, Jesus and his disciples to proclaim the good news to other people there. And the same goes with us. Giving our tithes and offering allows us to contribute and support our church to the gospel to be proclaimed to everyone. The more we give to God, the more he will God will bless us and the more opportunities for us to share the gospel to other people. Let's pray. Lord, thank you God for this night. Thank you dear God for your faithfulness and goodness. Thank you God because you are the one who give us the ability to produce wealth. Lord, thank you for our jobs, our businesses, and all the resources that we have, God. Lord, giving our tithes and offering is nothing compared to what you gave to us. The eternal life, a meaningful life, and all the things that we enjoy here on earth comes from you. Lord, thank you and bless every faithful tithe, God. Bless everyone, God, this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And for our giving, our center is open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. to drop off your tithes and offering. However, we, uh, to make it easier for you, uh, we encourage you to give online uh, via direct deposit. You can see the details on the screen and you can also uh, use your GCash application, the QR code is on the screen and partnering with our missions, Every Nation Campus, and Real Life Foundation is now made easier. You can uh, visit our website, victory.org.ph. And to those uh, here on site, you can uh, drop your tithes and offering later as you exit. God bless as you give.
All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our midweek service. Palapan natin si Lord for this great day. Good to see again familiar faces. Uh, uh, welcome, kina Annalyn, kina Dika Angela, kasama mo si Neymar, right? And also welcome back sa aking uh, mga kaibigan. Uh, for this year, na first time umaten sa onsite natin Wednesday si Brian at si Lorraine. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal. At sa lahat po ng uh, bumalik at nakita ko ulit, first time. Ate Florence, good to see you here. Welcome back. And also uh, Kuya Nick. At sa lahat po sa atin, welcome sa ating pong midweek service. And also si Ken for that very uh, uh, anointed uh, worship leading. So, gagaya nga po yung sinabi ni, ni Billy, kung kayo po ay may talent sa pagkanta, sa pagtugtog, Join us as we start our church community, growing community here every Wednesday at our midweek service. So, good evening and welcome to Victory. We exist to honor God and to make disciples. At katulad ng lagi natin sinasabi, si Billy, meron siyang announcement from the past few weeks. Meron po tayong Kids Church. Di po ba? We're discipling young generation. And also, meron tayong Life Begins at Outreach kung saan Nagli-lead din si Kuya Nick at si Ate Florence, part sila noon. Kay Pastor Noel, uh, Sunday yan, uh, Saturday, once a month. But also, we have our singles group. Di po ba? Kung kayo po single, pwede po mamalamok sino yung mga singles dito. Yan, si Vivi nagsalita, si BJ, si... Ba? Uh, lahat po tayo, mostly, nandito at yung iba po sa ating nakajoin sa ating pong, uh, singles event last Saturday. Sino po sa inyo nagpunta kayo last Saturday? Si Mao Si Annalyn, di ba? Si Bibi, sino pa yung nagpunta? Si uh, BJ, nagpunta rin doon. So, we talk about love relationships at ito po yung tinawag nating Valentine's What. Nakikita niyo po yung mga pictures. Uh, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng singles na nag-join sa atin via Zoom. We had uh, 66 singles kung saan. Alam ko si Mao, kinilig pa yan eh, di ba? Nakita ko si Jet. Shout out sa iyo, Jet, na hindi ka nakapunta sa online, on-site natin, pero nakita kita sa Zoom. So, it's good to see lahat po ng singles, na-minister lang tayo by that event. Um, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nagpunta. At in-invite po namin kayo every Wednesday, if you want to join us here on-site, at sa atin namang naka-online ngayon, we have more than 30 um, gadgets or laptops na naka-online, welcome po sa ating pong midweek service. So, uh, we are also excited na nagbukas na rin po yung ating center. Pag Sunday po, every 11, 3, and 5 p.m., we are gathering here. Alam na, pupuno na nga po tayo eh. Even um, Saturday, kay Pastor J. Lord, 11 a.m., we are on site. So, invite nyo po kung di po kayo available every Wednesday. Our services, weekend naman, Saturday and Sunday, are open for you. Alright? So, make sure lang po na mag-register po kayo at meron din tayong alfresco every Sunday. So, good evening again. Uh, we will conclude our series on Abide. Pero alam nyo po itong ating series, we will be... Uh, we, uh, ito po tinuturuan tayo, the power and beauty of God's Word. At ngayong gabi, pag uh, usapan natin yung uh, the Word that keeps us from evil. Naniniwala ba kayo na ang mundo natin ay parang kaya po? <laughs> Naan nyo na ba yung lyrics na yun? Yung dialogue na yun? Uh, malaking kaya po daw or marami na tayong uh, uh, paglalabas tayo sa ating bahay out of our comfort zone. Medyo delikado na. Di ba? Sa inyo, inyo nakanood kayo ng news. Ito, hindi naman to ano. Nakita ko to sa inyo. Eh. Di ba? Even si, si Gerald Anderson. Di ba? Na nakaawan siya. Naka, nasa kotse niya na. Nasa harap na ng kanyang gym. Tapos may nagbasag ng kotse niya. Sabi niya, hindi ko yung expect na... Kala mo friend eh. Kala mo friend ko siya eh. Nakita ko lang po sa news. Sabi niya, I never expected na parang... Ang lakas ang loob na magnanakaw, binasag yung kanyang kotse, kinuha yung laptop niya, tapos, di ba, magsasalin nga ng pera dahil wala pala siyang password. Di ba? Yung mga walang password dyan sa cellphone and laptop. So, nakita po natin na even, kala natin safe, pero marami pa rin masasamang loob or mga evil outside. Sino sa inyo? One time sa buhay nyo, eh, medyo, alam nyo, kasi ako, ganito ako eh. Nung, nung isang 
Gabing-gabi na yun eh. Yung dati ko pang buhay, mga alas alauna yata, umuwi ako noon, galing akong Pasay. Uh, dati pa to ha, naglalakad ako. Pag-iwang-gewa nga pa ako. Tapos may nakita ako, sumusunod sa akin. Parang, tapos alam mo yung parang-parang sa mga stories, mga movies na mayroong madilim na kalye, di ba? Katakot na ako. Tinitignan ko na, ano ba yung makukuha sa akin dito? Yung pera ko, yung 3210 ko, no, Nokia pa that time. Pero, sabi ko, kung di ka alert, baka bigla akong tukan na ito, magnanakaw, hold up in ako. Ang ginawa ko po, pumunta ako sa Victory Liner. Ah, di ba meron din sa Pasay? Pumila ako, kunyari, bibili ako ng ticket. So, kinabahan ako kasi sumisilip pa rin siya. Nung nakita niya ang dami ng tao, tsaka niya ako nilayuan. So, ako po, na-experience ko yung mga ganong mga, mga, mga attempt. Meron tayong mga leader nga, natutulog lang siya eh. Tapos pumasok yung ano, akit bahay. Hindi ko na sabihin ko sino yun, pero nagulat siya kasi paggising niya ng madaling araw, nawala na yung cellphone niya. na bukas na yung pintana niya. Safe ka na nga sa bahay, natutulog ka na. Tapos, meron pa pumapasok na akyat bahay. So, how many of you will agree that our world right now is somehow scary, somehow dark or dangerous? Pag ako nga, ako ulit ah, example ko lang, pag may lumalapit sa akin, magtatanong, ah, Kuya, Kuya Pogi, ah, parang man nababola pa sila eh, Kuya Pogi, Tapos linggo naman, ako ba? Uh, uh, pengi namang ano, pamasahe. Tapos pag, na, nakikita ko, si, pag na-engage mo sila, nakababasa ko at naririnig ko sa story, pag na-engage ka, pwede ka na mabudol-budol, na bogus. Ang dami ko kilalang ganyan eh. Na mga na, 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 nakakasalubong lang. So ako po, medyo ako, ingat ako. Kapag may mga nag, lumalapit na mga tatanong o magbebenta o meron kang gustong i-engage, gumagana na na Gumagano lang. Ako lang naman yun. Ewan ko lang kayo. Pero ako kasi, takot ako sa stranger. Di ba? Bakit ko po sinasabi to Because marami sa atin na takot lumabas, lalo na po kapag uh, alam natin na hindi safe yung pupuntahan natin. At ang reason po niyan, tayo mga Kristiyano, ayaw din natin mag-reach out na. Sino sa inyo? Okay na tayo? Group na lang natin, Brian, nila Ken, Benny, di ba? Nila Mitch. Dito na lang tayo, na tayo makipagkilala sa mga mga kaibigan na hindi naman kristyano. Victory group na lang ni Vivi, nila Ate Yvonne, di ba? Nila Des Garcia, nila Ate Joy, tayo, tayo na lang to. Pero pag ibang tao, ayaw isama sa group. Kasi nga, we are comfort, na ano yung nandun na tayo sa comfort zone. At ayaw na natin mag-engage na yung mga dati nating kaibigan na kasama natin sa mga dati nating mga bisyo. Well, alam nyo po, sabihin ko sa inyo, that we are all sent to the world. We are not called to isolate ourselves. Pag naging krisano ka na ba, hindi ka naman mag-reach out, hindi ka naman lalabas. Di ba, hindi naman tayo mong, ano ba yung mong ha ba yun? Monghe. Ano ba tawag doon? Teka, tabi ko lang ito ha. Mamaya kasi ba ako ng tako eh. So parang hindi naman tayo mong ha, or monghe na naka, nakakulong sa mountains para wala tayong kasalanan, we are pure, at wala tayong isiping thoughts. Well, pagbukas nyo pa lang ng phone nyo, marami na po ang temptation. Pagbukas pa lang ng TikTok, di ba? Isang oras na si Billing nanonood ng mga TikTok videos, di ba? Ang daming temptation. Netflix, mga movies. So kahit hindi ka lumabas, yung thoughts mo, pwede pong ma- magkaroon at ma- makakuha kayo ng mga temptation and evil thoughts. Bakit ko po sinasabi ito? Because sa atin po bilang boy kristyano, Di ba, Brian? Tayo ba ay nakikisama or nakikisama? Iba po kasi yung meron kong kaibigan na, bro, gusto ko i-reach out mga kaibigan ko to. Nagiinom kami, pero hindi ako umiinom. Kung baga ako iced tea. Gusto ko lang silang i-reach out. It's okay kung yun ang tesyo mo. Pero later on, yung kaibigan ko ngayon, nagiinom na rin. At hindi na po siya mati ng church. Because ang sa kanya, nakikisama ako pero nakisama. So I hope and I pray na lahat po tayo dito, meron po tayong intention to reach out people para po madala sila kay Lord. Hindi po tayo yung madala at bumalik sa dati nating ginagawa. Are you here? Because ang ating po pag-uusapan, what we will do if God is commissioning us to reach out the world. So join me as we read God's Word. Please stand up as, give, as we give reverence to the 
Word of God from John 17, verses 14 to 21. It says here, I have given them your word. Si Jesus yung nagsasalita nito ha. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. 17. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. Last verse. And for their sake, I consecrate myself that they also may be sanctified in truth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your presence in this, into this place. Holy Spirit, ikaw yung kailangan namin as we talked about your word that keeps us from evil. Lord, itago mo, mo lamang po ako sa iyong likuran, sa iyong, tali, sa iyong harapan, sa iyong tagiliran upang ang iyong kaluwalhatian lamang ang mahayag sa lugar na ito, sa lahat ng mga nanonood, Panginoon. I pray for um, for um, presence of mind sa lahat ng ginagawa nila, in distraction, in Jesus' name, makafocus po kami. Lahat po kami, Lord God, we will listen to your voice. Holy Spirit, take your rightful place. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may take your seats. So ang context po ng ating pong, uh, narinig na Word of God, ito po ay tapos na po yung Last Supper. Ito yung mga huling gabi na ni Jesus at pinag-pray niya po ang kanyang mga disciples. So, the chapters 14 to 17 of the Gospel of John, ang tawag po dito ay farewell discourse na ibinigay niya po sa kanyang, ilang po ba yung disciples ni Jesus? 12. Pero during this time, walaan niyo po, nawabawasan sila. Dahil umalis na po si Judas at gagawin niya na yung mag, uh, magbe-betray siya kay Jesus. So, Ang, ang, ang audience ni Jesus dito, yung 11 disciples uh, the night before His crucifixion. John 17 contains, sabi po ng mga scholars, the greatest prayer that ever prayed on earth. Because, eto po, pinopoint out po dun sa John chapter 70, tatlong bagay. Jesus prays to be glorified and Jesus prays for His disciples and Jesus prays for all believers. Ito po yung context. How many of you believe? Na kapag ho yung last minute nyo na, di po ba yung mga huling habili na? Kung baga ito na talagang ipapour out mo na yung heart mo eh. Para talagang makakatch yung mga disciples yung, yung gustong sabihin ni Jesus to them. Ito po yun yung gabi na yun. And tonight, we will be talking about three things. How can we live victoriously in this evil world? Di ba? Mahirap pa buhay. Di ba? Iba sa akin, meron akong pastor na kakilala. When I worked before sa isang Christian organization, sabi niya, alam mo bro, gusto ko nang mamatay, gusto ko nang kunin ako ni Lord. Kasi hirap na hirap na ako sa buhay, kahit kristyano ako, kahit pastor ako, ang dami kong pagsubok. Pwede nga lang, di ba? Once you uh, accepted Jesus, punta ka agad sa langit. Pero hindi. We are all here. We have to live here. And we have to live out our life. Di po ba sa iyong trabaho, sa iyong pamilya, sa iyong negosyo, sa iyong campus. And, Unang bagay po na gusto ko i-share sa inyo, paano tayo magkaroon ng victory sa ating buhay na ito in spite of evil world outside is number one, is by knowing what the world is. Alam na po natin yung word, word of God, salita ni Lord. Pero let's define, let's know, ano ba yung mundo natin ginagalawan? Ano ba yung sinasabi ni Jesus tungkol sa mga, sa earth or just sa world na sinasabi niya rito? John 17, 14 says, Sabi ni Jesus daw, I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. So, malino po, ang mundo hate, nakalagay tayo, hates Christianity, mga Christians. Sino ba sa inyo na bully na kayo? Or dati kayong Nag-reunion, di ba, Lore? Nag-reunion ko yung mga kaibigan mo. Tapos, parang iniyayaya ka ulit sa mga dating mga bisyo. Sige na, pre, Billy. Inom ka naman. Pare naman, dati kasama mo kami dito. Ikaw nga nagturo sa akin dito eh. Alam niyo po, 
Na kaya man sabihin, but I have I have to share this. Nung ako po ay naging Kristiyano, umati na po ako dito sa church, meron na po ako ni-reach out kay mga classmate ko, college friends. Tapos yung isa ko kaibigan doon na kasama ko doon sa mga inuman dati. Dati pa po yun ah. Mga, uh, mga bata pa tayo noon. Sabi niya, ikaw, Jerome, Kristiyano, ikaw magiging pastor, bula ang propeta ka. Pupunta ako sa church nyo. Para sabihin ko, Fake yan, fake. Kasi nga, kikilala kita, ikaw yung nagturo sa akin, uminom. Ako, grabe naman nun. Wasak-wasak naman ako. Parang, di ko alam kung anong sasabihin ko. Nga, di ako naniniwala. Kasi kilala kita. Ngayon, uminom ka. Yun ang ano doon, di ba? Talagang, I stand with my conviction. Bro, hindi. Nandito ako para makipag-bonding sa inyo. Para sa friendship. Pero hindi ko gagawin yung dati natin ginagawa. You know what? May mga kaibigan ako, sino pa yung bully? That time, man, sana hindi siya nanonood <laughs> ngayon. One time, nagkaroon siya ng problema at tumawag siya sa akin. Bro, pwede bang pag-pray mo ko? Di ba, hindi natin alam kung paano natin ma-reach out yung mga tao na yun. Siguro, maaaring iba sa inyo, napapressure kayo, nabubuli kayo because of your faith. That's normal. Ang mahalaga naman dito, alam natin kung ano yung relasyon natin sa Panginoon. Alright? Tanong ko sa inyo, bakit the world hates Christianity. Because the Bible says, the world is spiritually ignorant and blind. During that time, yung mga religious leader, alam nila yung doctrines, alam nila yung word of God. Ang tanong, kilala ba nila si Lord? Alam natin ngayon, marami na pong religious people worship God, pero ayaw nilang acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, that they have to kneel down, to bow down to the Lordship of Jesus. Ito po yung mga nasa, nasa isip lang yung pagiging kristyano pero wala talagang relasyon sa Panginoon. And the people don't want to accept the truth. Marami sa inyo siguro, nag-preach kayo ng gospel, ayaw kayong paniwalaan. Ay, tsaka na ako atin dyan sa church kapag okay na ako. Ay, hindi yan eh. Ngayon nabubuhay tayo sa mundong ito. Everyone welcome. Kanina kausap ko po si campus director natin, si Doyle. Sabi ko yung mga kabataan, paano natin mapoprotect? Siyempre, from COVID virus, given na yun. Pero ngayong panahon na to, labanan, alam nyo, yung mga social media, mga news, ideologies, yung mga nababasa mo na dito, love wins. Dito okay lang, hindi kayo kasal. Kung bag ito yung ating mundo ngayon, na lahat, ng, lahat pwede. Are you here? Di ba nababasa nyo sa news? Nababasa nyo may mga principle, prin, prin, uh, principles, mga ideologies, Marami pong mga mga uh, pinepresent sa atin ng media. At yung mga nakakalungkot po sabi ni Campus Director Doyle, yung mga kabataan na ito during their uh, outreach outreach event sa Zoom, kahit nandun yung teacher, kanila okay lang, magtatapat ako, babae ako, kahit di ako gusto ng lalaki, ako na yung mag, magtatapat ng feelings. Mga ganun lang sila because na-influensahan tayo ng mundo. Are you here? Okay lang yung mag... May asawa ka, hindi naman alam pag nakipag-text ka or nakipag-meet ka sa iba eh. Di ba? Kung ba, it's okay. Macho ka pag marami kang girlfriend, marami kang babae. Sa trabaho, kapag hindi mo ginawa yung compromise, hindi ka magkakaroon ng promotion. Pag hindi ka dumikit, sumipsep, or hindi ka naging uh, 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 nakisama sa ginagawa ng office mate mo, outcast ka, hindi ka kasali sa group. Sino sa inyo nakaka-relate kayo dito sa sinasabi ko? Di ba? So, As Jesus says, when people ridicule you and reject you and persecute you because of God's name, because of Jesus, alam niyo ibig sabihin nun, hindi nila kilala si Lord. Yun lang yun eh. Because here today, sa ating panahon ngayon, people tied up to the systems of the world that will hate you and what you believe because they do not know God even if they profess to do so. Ngayon, Balik tayo. We have to know the world is. Di ba? Alam natin. At alam nyo po yung mundo natin ngayon, punong-puno ng selfishness. I have to say this because ano ba yung pagkakadefine ng selfish? Di ba? Ang selfish people is defined as being concerned excessively or ex- exclusively with oneself. Ito yung gusto mo, ikaw yung bida-bida. Ikaw yung may own advantage. Gusto mo yung own pleasure and well-being without regards of others. Nakita na ba kayo ng taong ganun? 
Ate na, pupunta ako dyan sa MRT, pupunta ako, siksikan. Wala akong pakialam sa inyo, mauna ako. Mahaba ang pila sa vac- vaccination. Tisingit, ayaw. Kasi gusto mo ikaw mauna kaysa sa iba. Ganun na talaga yung tao. Gusto natin, tayo yung nasa serve. Di ba tayo yung una muna kaysa sa iba. So, ano po ba yung karakteristik of selfish people? Ito po yung mga tao na nagmamanipulate para makuha yung gusto nila, yung concern sila sa kanilang needs, they self-promote, meron silang lack, uh, lack of empathy. Kasi nga gusto mo mauna ka, wala ka ng pakialam sa sasabihin ng iba, gusto mo makuha, yung gusto mo makuha without compassion and love to other people. However, si Jesus, hindi po yung gusto ni pakita ni Jesus yung self selfishness because Jesus came here a selfless act of sacrifice. Ibinigay ni Jesus ang kanyang lahat. Pinakita niya sa atin as Christian, hindi ka kailangan maging selfish, but you have to be selfless. Di ba sabi nga sa Bible, think of yourself, di ba? Lesser, yung ibang tao greater pa. Kunyari, kahit alam ni Ken na magaling siya kumanta, di ba? Halimbawa lang ha? Tapos yung isang tao, nag, nag, uh, nag, uh, nag-audition, yung boses niya, parang, hmm, di ba, sintonado. Pero hindi niya sasabing, ay, baksa ka, pangit boses mo. Ako, magaling ako, maganda boses ko. We should, tabi sa Bible, think of other people, yung ilinagard mo sila higher or greater than yourself. So, as Christian, marami tayo may encounter na taong, grabe naman to. Parang naiinis ka na kasi parang slow mo naman to. But we are called to be loving people. At sa uh, disciples si Jesus, we can see different personalities. Different walks of life. Meron dyan, di ba, si, Matthew, si Luke, di ba? Uh, doctor, tapos si Matthew, uh, uh, and also sila dyan. Iba, fishermen, iba, normal na tao lang. Pero si Jesus nag-unite sa kanila. What I'm trying to say is that possible na maging united tayo. We will be united as one. Tingnan niyo po, ang ganda na itong verse ito, verse 20. Sabi ni Jesus, I do not ask for this only, but also for those who believe in me through their word. Sabi sa 21, that they may be all, basahin po natin, may be all one. Just as you father are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us. Ano yung purpose? Bakit kailangan nakipakitang unity? One tayo? Because the world may believe that they, that you have sent me. Ngayon, habang binabasa po natin to, that they may be all one. Do you think the Philippines, tayo po, mga Filipinos are one? Na kaya nga pong magsuot eh. Nung nakalakal ng singles event natin, di ba? So, so, ano kayong kulay ng suot ko ngayon? Naku, pag nagsuot ako ng ibang kulay, baka sabihin, makapartido ako or eto yung boboto ko. Di ba? Minsan nakakalukot man, but politics brings division. Sino sa inyo? Inunfriend na kayo ng kaibigan nyo. Meron, meron kayong mga kaibigan na merong cancel culture? Kasi nung nakaraan with pastors uh, Jay Lord and Pastor Rowell, nag-uusap kami. And even kay, di ba, nasasakyan tayo, uh, Lorraine and Brian, sino yung boboto mo? Pero sa amin po, we can say freely our opinion and beliefs without saying, after nito magsabi ako ng aking opinion sa politics, baka i-cancel na ako or hindi na ako gawing friend ng kaibigan ko o ng pastor na to. Because we believe, dito po sa atin, that what unites us is greater than what we divides us. Hindi po tayo yung, tayo na, ay, dito, ma, 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 ano magsalita sa mga kaibigan mo sa victory group po kasi i-judge ka nila. Hindi po tayo ganito sa atin sa victory sa ating church because we value relationships more than any issues. After ng election, yung mga kaibigan nyo, yung mga kapamilya nyo, yung mga ka-friend Facebook mo, sila po yung nandiyan. What I'm trying to say is that we can be united as we abide in Jesus and His Word. Ma-reunite lang naman po talaga mga Pilipino, mga tao, pag meron silang pananampalataya kay Jesus at sa kanyang salita. Nakakalungkot man, maaaring iba sa inyo na experience nyo to, 
Sobrang passionate sa politics. It's okay. But siyempre, nandun yung respect natin. Meron sabi dito, Ken, sino boboto mo? Si ganito. Ako, boboto ko. Magkalaban tayo. Pwede well, tayo magkalaban. Magkalaban sa posisyon yung boboto natin. Magkaiba man. Pero tayo, Ken, we're friends. Are you here? Hindi po magkakalaban ng bawat isa sa atin. Sabi ni Jesus sa disciples niya, tayo po ay dapat maging isa. And we can only get that, that unity, sabi sa Galatians 3.28. Hayaan yung basahin ko po ito sa wikang Tagalog. Wala nang pagkakaiba ang Hudyo at ang Griego, ang alipin at ang malaya, ang lalaki at ang babae. Kayong lahat ay iisa na dahil sa inyong pakikipag-isa kay Kristo Jesus. So posible ba ng Pilipino mag- magkabuklod? Sa panahon ngayon, nakalungkot man, ang daming kulay, ang daming mga bashing. But what binds us together, tayo po, Kristiyano, is our relationship with God. And Christ is the only one who can bring, bring us together. Ito po yung good news. We can abide in Jesus and His Word and we can be united as one. Sino sa inyo? Sa Ate Thoran, si Kuya Nick, sila Bibi, ang dami niyang victory group, di ba? Members, pero magkakaiba mo po yung personality. Di ba pag victory group nyo na, nakakaisa na kayo. Meron kayong pinag-aaralang word, nagpe-pray kayo. Nagkakaisa tayo because of our faith in Jesus Christ. Now, eto po yung mundo natin. There's so much selfishness, so much division. But number two, kailangan natin maintindihan, we have to acknowledge that we are not part of this world. Parang uh, kantayan ni Ariel sa, ano ba yung Little Mermaid, di ba? Part of your world. Kasi magkaiba yung mundo. Ngayon, Kristiyano, magkaiba po tayo. Dinesign tayo ng Panginoon. Hindi para sa mundong ito. Are you here? You are the sta- designed, bro, to glorify God in eternity. Kung tayo mabubuhay, si Billy magkaka-asawa, magkaka-anak, tapos mamamata at age of 100, alam ba wala, 120. Yun lang ba ang purpose ni Billy? Ba't siya nabuhay? Para lang i-enjoy ang buhay, umaman, magkaasawa ng beauty queen. Halimbawa lang ha, tapos mamamatay na. I don't think so. We are all created for eternity. Kaya po yung iba na po po straight. Dahil tingin nila, itong mundo na to, kailangan kong maraming likes, kailangan kong umaman, kailangan ako magkaroon social recognition. Nakakalungkot man. Nababasa nyo sa stories, di ba? Sa news. Even... 30-year-old na attorney, di ba? beauty queen, maganda, sikat, pero nag-suicide. Meron ako nab- na nabasa naman, dating bilyonaryo, naghirap, nagpakamatay. Pero hindi pa po siya mahirap. Naging milyonaryo lang siya. Bilyonaryo, naging milyonaryo na depressed, nagpakamatay. Because people are thinking na eto pong buhay nila, ay dito lang naka, naka-focus, naka-design sa earth. But sabi ni Jesus, We are not part. We are not of this world. Pag naisip niyo po yan, kapatid, kaibigan, na ang buhay ko hindi lang dito sa lupa, ako ay para sa langit, to do eternal, di ba? To invest in eternal things, mababago yung perspective niyo sa buhay. Kasi kahit maraming selfishness, corruption, division, you will think, Lord, I know etong sistema ng mundo na ito, hindi ako dito. Nakakita na ba kayo? Or nakamit na ba kayo ng ambassador? Ang ambassador po ay accredited diplomat sent by a country to, to be an official representative to another country. Pero yung ambassador na yun, hindi po sa citizen ng bansang yun. Siya po ay babalik din sa kanyang bansa. Ganun po tayo, we are all parang somehow ambassador living here on earth, pero hindi po tayo talaga dito sa earth na ito. We are just, sabi nga doon, Uh, dumadaan lang tayo. Tayo po ay mga uh, bystander, bystander lang sa mundong ito. We can dream. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na, ay, ganun ba? Dapat pala hindi na ako magtrabaho, maging mayaman, or mag, uh, magkaroon ng achievement. No! I, I'm not saying that. That we can still dream, but our ultimate fulfillment, listen to this, ultimate fulfillment natin ay matatagpuan lang natin sa Panginoong Jesus. Marami po akong nababasa, mayaman, sikat. At the end of that, hindi po sila masaya. Because every one of us talagang create tiny Lord for eternity and we are longing 
yung hole na sa puso natin, Jesus can only fill that hole in your heart. So John 17, 15 says, I do not ask that you take them out of the world. So basahan nyo dito ha, prayer to ni Jesus sa Father. Sabi niya, etong disciples na ito, hindi ko siya sinasabing alisin mo sila sa mundo, but ang prayer ni Jesus at prayer din niya sa ating lahat is that you keep them from the evil one, O God. So, kung halimbawa nasa trabaho ka ngayon, na feeling mo, Lord, bakit ba ako nandito? Ang daming corruption, ang daming mga politics sa trabaho ko. Nilagay ka dyan ni Lord, pero ang gagawin sa'yo ni Lord, ipoprotect ka niya para hindi ka magkaroon ng, ng, ng contaminate dun sa kultura na yun. What is moral evil? Ito yung acts of humans which are considered wrong or uh, example niya, yung mga nagnanakaw, papatayin ka. Diba? Ito yung mga, yung mga kasamaan sa mundo. Kahit na wala kang ginagawa, katulad na nga lang sa sasakyan, eh, di ba? Sino sa inyo nagda-drive kayo? Di ba? Pag mga makikita mo mga road range, kumbaga okay ka pa umaalis eh. Tapos pag tiningitan ka, tapos binabaan ka ng salamit, titigan ka yung titigan mo rin siyang ganyan. Titigan na, titigan na lang ka maghapon, di ba? Pero yung may, ano kayo, parang okay ka, pero pag na ano ka, parang na-trigger na, na, ka, ganun tayo eh. As human, marami sa atin, kailangan, kailangan natin ang Word of God. Kaya sabi ng ganda ng topic natin, we abide the power and beauty of God's Word because left to ourselves, pag wala tayong Word of God, pag nakalagay ito, gagalit ka agad. Di ba? Kita mo na yung mga road range, di ba? Pag na-offend ka agad, i-unblock mo na agad, cancel culture. Hindi ka open to dial for a day dialogue with the people. Kasi tingin natin, nasakta na yung ego, ego mo, yung pride mo, ayaw mo na. Pag ako na-hurt, ayoko na. Tama na to. Yan, friend ko na yan. Unfollow ko na yan. Well, nakakalungkot man. But we, as believers and Christians, dapat tayo po yung mayroong compassion, loving, more love, more patience to them. Tanong ko sa inyo, excuse ba ang Kristiyano sa evil doing? Tingin nyo ba, pag Kristiyano kayo, hindi na kayo pwedeng magawa ng, alam ba, wala nga, huwag naman sana i-review, hindi na kayo pwedeng ma-hold up, hindi na kayo pwedeng magawa ng masasama. Well, ang purpose po ng evil, and I believe that the purpose of evil is the revelation of the goodness of God. Hindi tayo excuse, but sabi ni Lord, we are protected by the evil one. And the world is awaiting for your convictions, for your Uh, faith, what are we doing? Church, anong ginagawa natin? Kung ang mundo ay selfish, ang daming division, ang daming gulo, tayo ba nakikigulo din sa politika? Tayo rin ba yung nagkakos ng division? Hindi pa tayo nagpapromote ng peace, love? I don't know about you, but ako po nalulungkot ako. Kung meron pong mga kristyano na sa social media, hindi napapakita po. Ano ba sabi ni Jesus? The world will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Sa lahat ng gagawin natin, kahit manalo ko sa debate, kahit feeling ko mag- magaling yung theology ko, o magaling yung doctrine ko, o magaling yung debate ko about politics, pero na-offend ko yung kaibigan ko, lumayo siya. What's the use of winning the debate if you lose that person? Because here in our church, We value relationships. Pag mayroong tayong hindi pagkakaunawaan, sige, pag-usapan natin. Huwag ho natin, huwag tayong magalit dun sa tao, kundi sa kanyang ginawa. Sa tao na to, late to lagi eh. Ang issue niya, late. Pero, yung tao, mahalin mo. I-confront mo, alam mo, lagi kang late. Yung mga hate the sin, but love the sinner. Ang ginagawa kasi natin, pag may isang beses lang, si BJ may ginawa, hindi na ako binayaran yan. Ang gagawin, hindi, na niya, hindi ko nakakausapin. Buong totality ng tao, ayaw mo na. We as Christian, I plead with you, we should show more compassion, lalo na po sa outside world. 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, No test or temptation. Maybe you're here. Feeling nyo, nandun kayo in the midst of your situation. Merong crushing, merong, merong pruning na ginagawa si Lord sa buhay nyo. Merong ka pinagdadaanan, may utang ka. Merong ka kinakaharap na problema. I don't know about your situation right now. But itong word ni Lord from Message Bible Translation, 
No test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. Kung ano yung pinagdadaanan mo, nararamdaman ko may nanonood sa atin, feeling mo, Lord, special tong problema na ito. Ako lang yata meron. Hindi po. Sabi nito, lahat ng pinagdadaanan ng tao ay napagdaanan na po ng ibang tao. All you need is to remember is that God will never let you down. I don't know about you, but it brings me comfort. Hindi ka pababayaan ni Lord. Hindi po reksona ang magle-let you down. Hindi po. Sabi nito, God will never let you down. He'll never let you push past your limit. Feeling mo sat-sat ka na, nasa wall ka na, Lord. Hindi ko na kaya, Lord. Suko na ako. Pero si Lord, alam niya ang kapasidad mo. Alam niya pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, nanonood ka ngayon. Feeling mo, hindi mo kaya. Alam ni Lord yung capacity mo. Sabi niya, no? He'll never let you be pushed past your limit. He'll always be there. Wow! He'll always be there to help you come through it. Kung ano pipiling dadaanan niyo, He will give you the way out. Are you here? This is a great promise and um, of God sa ating lahat. Na lahat ng ating pinagdadaanan, hindi yan para lang sa'yo. Napagdaanan na yan. Sino sa inyo, meron kayong anak or meron kayong bata? Di ba, pag bata, utusan mo, pakilagay nga yung laruan mo doon. Laruan lang yun ha. Di ba, si Kali, yan yung bawa, may laro. Pa, anak mo eh, alam mo yung capacity. Pero what if, Kali, maglilinis ako ng bahay, pakilipat nga yung ref doon sa kwarto o ibaba mo yung sopa doon sa taas, bababa mo dito. Hindi mo kaya mo ba bilang magulang yung capacity ng anak mo? Hindi niya kakayanin yun. What more pa si Lord? Kung ano yung pinagdadaanan mo, alam niya yung capacity mo. Alam niya na hindi ka niya bibigyan ng pagsubok na hindi mo kaya ang pagtagumpayan. Why? Because He will give you the way out. He will there. He will be there to help you come through it. At ito po ang pangako sa ni Lord. Panghawakan po natin ngayong gabi as we abide in God's Word. At sa akin nangyari itong problema na to. Nandyan si Lord to help you. Pagtatagumpayan mo yan dahil sa Panginoon. Amen? Third and last thing that we will do to have victorious life is that if we allow God's Word to change us. Alam mo na yung mundo, alam mo na, na hindi ka para sa mundong ito, pero kailangan mong baguhin ang sarili mo sa pamamagitan ng salita ng Panginoon. Basahin natin sa 17, Sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth, As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world, sabi ni Jesus, and for their sake, I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. Paano tayo magiging victorious sa buhay natin? Kung hahayaan mong baguhin ka ni Lord, yung puso mo sa salita ng Panginoon. Sabi sa pang, sa, salita, forgive, love your enemies. Lord, ayoko. Hindi para sa akin yung word na yan. Nakalagay nga dyan, no, love your enemies. As we continue to abide in God's word, we will be transformed. Sino sa inyo mabait kayo ngayong taon kaysa mas mabait kayo last year? Siguro 10 years ago, si Billy, tuwing na yung buhay niya, mas mabait siya ngayon, ngayong taon. Napifin nyo ba? Nararamdaman nyo ba na marami nag, nag, nagsasabi sa inyo, Mau, parang nagbago ka na. Yung mga college friends nyo, si Ken, alam ko yan, musiker rin si Ken eh. Di ba? Pwede si Kuya Nick. Hindi ka dating ganyan eh. Bakit ngayon ibang-iba ka na? Because as we allow God's Word to transform us, every year, nakakaroon po ng transformation. Ito po yung sanctification. Ang sanctification po, it means to set apart for a special holy purpose. Alam niyo po sa Tagalog ng sanctification, pinapaging banal. Lali ba no? So yung pinapaging banal, yung term na saint, dito po nang kuha yun. Yung dati ka makasalanan, dati ka nagkakaroon ng kasalanan, pero may sanctification, ni, na, nababago ka ni Lord unti-unti. Wala pa pong perfectong tao. Wala pa yung sobrang walang kasalanan. We are all in the process of sanctification. At also yung consecrate means the same as sanctify. Maniwala ko sa hindi kayo po ay mga saints. Tingnan niyo po yung bawat isa. Tingnan niyo po yung katabi niyo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, you are saint. Santo ka. Ang santo po hindi yung patay. Ang santo ay buhay. Kung ikaw po ay patuloy nag-aabay sa salita ng Panginoon, 
you are a saint of God. Whether you like it or not, sa lahat mo nanonood sa atin, you are a saint because the Word of God is sanctifying you. Nakikita po yung pagbabago sa buhay nyo. Amen? So, ulit, ulitin ko ha. Sino ba yung mga saints dito? Taas yung kamay nyo if you believe that you are a saint of God. Not because of your good works, not because you're attending church, but because of the grace of God. Kasi pinatawad ka na ni Lord eh. Yung grace ni Lord nasa yun na, yung forgiveness niya. That's why, every time we will pray to God, we are bold enough, Lord, because you have forgiven me, I ask whatever I need. Sabi doon, di ba? And it will be given to you. As I end, marami sa atin, siguro, yung term na ito, Christian lives in the world. Tama ba yun? Christian lives in the world, but is not to be of the world. Nabubuhay tayo, pero hindi para tayo dito sa mundong ito. May mission tayo that God does not isolate us from the world, but insulates us from the world. Magkaiba po yung isolation. Iba naman yung ini-insulate ka. We are to make difference. You are a uh, uh, insurance, di ba? Uh, ang tawag doon? Agent. Make a difference. Wherever we find ourselves in the world, ikaw banker ka bro, maging best banker ka. Make with Christian and a godly principles. So, every one of us is called to make a difference sa ating pong negosyo, sa ating pong trabaho, sa ating pong pamilya. As I end, I want to share this last statement that God's victory happens when we follow the word and not the world. Kung ikaw ay nanghihina, kung ikaw ay merong pinagdadaanan, kung ikaw feeling mo, hindi okay relationship mo kay Lord ngayon, gabi, go back to the Word. Abide in the Word of God. Because abiding in the truth of God's Word while we are still in this world allows us to be united as a church, sanctified by His truth, and be protected from the evil one as we fulfill God's mission. Kaya ka hindi pa kinukuha ni Lord? Kaya ka pa buhay ngayon? Sa mga nanonood sa atin, kaya tayo ay nananatiling nasa mundong ito because may mission pa tayo. Alam niyo, gusto niyo malaman ko ano yung mission niyo sa mundong ito? Not to get rich. Pero gusto ni Lord maging mayamang ka. Gusto ni Lord mag, mag, maging blessed ka. Gusto ni Lord magkaroon ka ng happy family. Pero we are called to live in the light even though we are in a dark world. Madilim yung mundo, gagamitin ka ni Lord to be the salt and light. We are to shine our light to help those trapped in darkness. Now that you see the light, wag mo na ma-follow the light. Di ba napapanood mo sa mga movie, follow the light. Hindi, ikaw yung light na binigyan ka nga ng light ni Jesus. There's, there are many people who trap in darkness. Kaibigan mo ngayon, may pinagdadaanan. Kaibigan mo ngayon, mayroong problema. Ikaw yung gagamitin. Kuya Nick, ipipm mo. Kumusta ka? How can I pray for you? Tayo po yung gagamitin ni Lord so that other people will make their way to the true light and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. As we do this, alam natin na si Jesus is our advocate. The one who's interceding and asking His Father, Lord, ingatan mo Lord itong mga disciples ko. Ingatan mo yung umaatin ng victory. Uh, Keso na Avenue Midweek Service, ingatan niyo po sila from the evil one. Si Lord Jesus yung nag-intercede sa atin. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And I don't, I don't know about you, but ngayong gabi, knowing that Jesus will intercede sa weaknesses ko, sa aking struggle, sa burden ko, sa yung aking, di ba? Sa yung aking Lord na sinasabi niya, God the Father, nagkasala itong tao na to. Patawarin mo, bigyan natin ng chance. Patatagi mo, bigyan mo ng kalakasan si Annalyn sa lahat ng mga may problema ngayon. Lord, give them way out sa kanilang mga problema. Let's bow our head as we remember that Jesus is our great mediator, the one who's praying, interceding for us. Lord, today, as we conclude our series on Abide, Lord, we pray for protection from evil one. Lord, we pray for yung mga test namin pinagdadaanan. 
Maybe some of us, meron kaming mental health issues. Nobody's knowing, Lord God, kung ano yung amin pong naiisip at napagdadaanan. But Lord, we are praying for your protection from test, temptation, whatever, Lord God, na amin pong pinagdadaanan ngayon. Keep us, Lord God, from evil ones. Yung mga ideologies, yung mga thoughts that, that, that are not godly, Lord God, alisin niyo po ito sa isipan namin. Lahat, Lord God, yung nagpapagulo sa isipan namin ngayon. Take them away, Lord God. We want to abide in the Word of God. Lord, give us this commitment to read, study, and love your Word. Lord, I pray as everyone is praying sa lahat po na nanonood, you have a prayer request, you can you can share that in our comment section so that our leaders will pray for you. We are praying, Lord God, as Jesus prayed for His disciples, He's now interceding for all of us. Personal God si Jesus. Alam niya kapatid kung ano yung pinagdadaanan mo. Nandito siya ngayon. Open your heart. Just say whatever your struggles, whatever your situation right now, Remember, He is faithful to fulfill His promise. At ngayon, nasa bridge ka, nasa place ka na naguguluhan ka. Narinig mo yung sinabi ni Lord, He will never let you down. He will be there for you. Hindi ka nag-iisa. Hindi ka pababayaan ng Panginoon. Mahal na mahal ka ni Jesus. Kaya naman hayaan mo na i-open mo yung sarili mo kung ano mo yung pinagdadaanan mo. Gusto mong protection from COVID or protection sa mga kaaway, nagbabas sa'yo, nagjudge sa'yo, nagpa-persecute sa'yo. Jesus is here. Jesus is beside you right now. Lord, thank you for this great assurance that we are not alone in facing our burdens and trials, Lord. Lord, As we receive your words, we will be kept from the evil one. Lord, sanctify us. Alam po namin, marami po kami kailangan baguhin sa sarili namin, sa pag-uugali namin, Lord. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, yung truth of God's word will sanctify us. Kasi, Lord, alam po namin na meron po kaming mission sa mundong ito. And that mission is to reach out other people. Family and friends, now that you are being ministered, nare-receive mo yung comfort. Alam ko nararamdaman mo yung power, yung presensya ng Panginoon. Kahit nag-o-online tayo, ramdam mo ngayon. Pinapalakas ka ni Lord. Pinapatatag ka ni Lord. Yung faith mo kay Lord. But hindi natatapos dyan because you are now strengthened to encourage someone. Think of one person na gusto mong this week ma-reach out. This week, di sila yung may problema eh. Ikaw may problema ka, pero dahil may Kristo ka, gusto mong i-share sa kanila yung faith mo. Think of that one person na kita mo sa Facebook, na matayan, may pinagdadaanan. The Holy Spirit is commissioning you. Why don't you text that person? Why don't you pray to that person? Why don't you invite that person sa ating online and on-site service for them to know Jesus as well? Kung paano mo na-appreciate yung light, kung paano mo na-appreciate yung presensya ng Panginoon, other people will need to hear the gospel, will need to experience God's love at gagamitin tayo ni Lord today. Lord, here we are. Let's stand, everyone. Tayo po tayo. As we lift our hands, Lord, we are commissioned, Lord God. We are not isolating ourselves. Hindi namin, Lord God, isasara yung mga friendships namin sa mga kaibigan namin na hindi kristyano. Lord, kami po ay kristyano upang maging ilaw sa mundong ito. Lord, as we worship you, commission us, Holy Spirit. Hindi po kami nasa bahay lang, hindi lang kami nasa church lang, but we are sent to the world to give light and to share the gospel of God to the world. Lord, give us this burden, this love, as we think of that one person na kailangan namin ma-reach out this week. Lord, 
Hayaan mo na maramdaman nila yung pagmamahal nyo sa kanila. Come on church, let's worship God once again. Yes, Lord. Salvation alone belongs to you. And I like what Pastor Jerome shared to us, that we are not part of this world. Though technically, we are still here living in this world, right? But then as we continue to abide in God's Word, we are living according to the purpose of God. That we should not focus on the earthly things, but we should focus on what is eternal, and the changes that we are experiencing in our life, I believe it's not just meant for us to, to be kept. For us, just a story to share. I believe God will use each one of us, our story, our testimony, that the reason behind it is because of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord, tonight, as we've been reminded by your word, I pray, Father, all of us will be compelled and have that burden, Lord, to share the gospel to the people, especially to those, their God, na nilalapit mo na sa amin. But yet, there are times, their God, that we are hesitant to, to, to share the word. I pray, Father, that you will give us the boldness to speak and that joy, a joy, their God, to know that person will know and encounter you and that person will experience, Lord, the love that comes from you. I pray, Father, that as we go on to this week, to the coming days, Lord God, I pray, let your word continue to remind us, minister to us, speak to us, Father. And we pray, Lord God, and as we do it, may we bring, all, bring back all the glory and honor to your name. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. And as we had received the Lord's blessing, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So that's it for our midweek service. To those joining us online, kita kits po tayo next week. God bless you.